Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Uh, yesterday we did a show on the uh, Canelo Triple G numbers. We're going to do another show on that um, because it came out that it did a million pay-per-view buys. Uh, we're going to break that down and see, you know, what the real number is. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recover. It's very near and dear to our heart. It's very, it's dedicated to, uh, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing, and all proceeds go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery, which is uh, near and dear to our heart. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get into this. Right, yesterday we reported. But multiple sources said uh, it uh, the Canelo paper, Triple G pay per view did um, 550 to 575,000 pay per view buys, down from 1.1 and 1.3 million in the first two fights. Then it came out today, it did no, no, it did just over a million. We did, we did great, we, we did just over a million pay per view buys. So, what's the real number? 575,000? Or 1.06 million pay-per-view buys. Because that's a massive difference. About, you know, double. Okay. <clears throat> so zone issued a statement saying that 1.06 is the worldwide number. They're cooking the books here. The 1.1 and the 1.3 from the first two fights are a U.S. number. A national number. Why are they switching the goalposts like this? The fight did really good, right? You're happy with the results. Why are you switching the goalposts? You didn't give me the pay-per-view numbers of the inter- of the fight internationally in the first two fights. So why would you do it on this one? And it's still, the international numbers came in less than the national numbers of the first two fights. Substantially less than the second fight. The cook in the books here, guys. 550,000, 575,000 is what it did. We've always, when, when you hear, you know, Floyd Mayweather did 4 million, Mike Tyson made a whole the 2 million, Mike Tyson, like, so it's a 2 million. They're talking about the U.S. numbers. They're not talking about international numbers. They're talking about what it did here domestically in the U.S. Now, all of a sudden, 30 years of pay per views. Now we're going to switch it up and change that to mean something else. Now we're going to tell you what the international numbers are. Why didn't you do that for any of the other pay-per-views? Because it did really badly. It did really, really badly, and they're trying to spin it any way they can. Look, instead of switching goalposts and, and, and lying, right, trying to cook the books like you did, just don't release the numbers, right? Like PBC did. Just keep your mouth shut, right? Like, we know it didn't do what it was supposed to. We know it didn't do what the first two did. We know it didn't do well. Why are you trying to lie and cover it up? Like, who's that helping? Real talk. Like, who, who, like, oh, uh, we did 575,000, but there were another 500,000 people who, who bought it all over the world. Really? That's it? That's not good. I mean, anything to cover up that this didn't do well. And again, it's not going to do well. Americans are in a tough spot financially. The fight wasn't intriguing. Triple G is 100 years old. Canelo's past his prime, coming off a loss, right? The Baval fight did 523,000 nationally. Why did they give you the national numbers on that, but not on this? So what that tells me is that Triple G, at 40 years old, having lost to Canelo, having lost to Derbinchenko, is worth about 20,000 pay-per-views more than, no, about, I'm sorry, about thirty to 40,000 more pay-per-views than Bavall. That's it. 
That's it. So Triple Z is not a draw anymore. I could have told you that because he's washed. He's past his prime. We knew who was going to win the fight. It wasn't a competitive fight. There was no suspense to it. No one was calling for the fight. There were 10 other guys we wanted to see Canelo fight. So that's why it came in what it did. Caleb Plant, last year, late last year, fourth quarter of 2021, Canelo versus uh, Plant did over 800,000. It's a massive drop. It's a 40% drop almost. So why is it bombing? A, because no one wanted to see the fight. B, because the zone lied to us about what we're going to get when we paid our money. And see, the fight's stupid. And, and Americans are hurting for money. Like, if you lie to me about what I'm getting for my money, you give me a stupid fight that no one cares about, that no one wants. Like, and Americans are hurting. What do you think it's going to come in at? Like, uh, I, 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 I'm not... Rooting for the fight to fail. This pay-per-view model has got to stop. What what the zone did is it, it's bordering. It, it, it's it, it, it's bordering on, on switch on bait and switch. It really is. They told you the pay-per-view model was dead for a hundred dollars a year. You can get all the Canelo fights plus all these other fights. Was that the case? Was that a lie? That was a lie. So they took your money, and then they, they lied to you on what you were going to get. It's simple and plain. So now, I, and then they lied again about what the number came in at. They, they, all of a sudden, all, from day one, including the zone, including Canelo's last fight, they told you the national U.S. number. Now they tell you the international number, and guess what? That number sucks too. A million worldwide in a world of seven and a half billion people, you sold one million views. It's not good. The U.S. Is population what 320, 350 million people, five hundred thousand. That is way better than a million out of seven, out of seven billion. Didn't do well. It doesn't matter how you try to cook the books, how you try to hide it, how you try to package it. The fight didn't do well, and it didn't do well for the very simple reasons. Americans are hurting for money. Now is not the time to put that final pay-per-view. You lied to us about what we're going to get for our money with the zone. And the fight was stupid. No one wanted the fight. When you put all those things together, you think you're going to do well? You guys are on boxing Twitter. Did you see the boxing Twitter world going, going crazy for this fight? You see boxing Twitter, million predictions, everyone scoring it round by round. Like, no, it wasn't. And that's how you knew the fight didn't do well, right? Like, if people had bought the fight, you would have seen the, the buzz. There would have been buzz. There was a buzz because no one cared about the fight. It was a stupid fight. You overcharged us for it. And now you're going to take a loss on it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um... Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's all completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is September 22nd, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.